You know, I've always been asked a lot of questions, but uh, one of the ones I get asked the most was, who was my favorite wrestlers when I was growing up? Well, there was always the guys, the bad guys, the heels, like Dick the Bulldog Brower, Crazy Luke Graham, the original Sheik, and of course my trainer, Killer Kowalski, and the greatest tag team champions of all time, the Valiant Brothers, Handsome Jimmy and Luscious Johnny. I had a chance to know Johnny real well during 1982 and 83 when we were doing international wrestling tapings. Johnny was a great, funny guy, humorous, and uh, always make you laugh. And, you know, we tragically lost John early in April. And, uh, plus, you know, there were always some favorites of, my, you know, the good guys that I always liked, too. Guys like Victor Rivera, Eduardo Carpentier. But none of them could come close to Bruno San Martino. You know, the living legend, the longest reigning world champion ever. And I got to know Bruno real well, too, during 1982 and 83, the international wrestling tapings that we've done. Uh, did shows all over the East Coast, Virginia, Ohio, and uh, I remember one night uh, Bruno was stricken with a kidney stone and he was laid out in the dressing room and never seen anybody go through so much pain the way he did. Can you can just imagine this big guy who was the world's strongest man at one time, what a kidney stone could do to somebody. But he was taken to the hospital and I believe he was operated on that evening. But also another memory about Bruno was being interviewed by Bruno on the TV there and uh, there was a situation where my tag team partner had turned on me and bloodied me up and eventually that turned me into a baby face and uh, Bruno interviewed me uh, one of those evenings and uh, I think there was a time when we actually came back to the WWF in 1984 uh, we were doing shows at the Wildwood Convention Hall in uh, Wildwood, New Jersey on the boardwalk and there was a string of Monday nights that they did during the summer and uh, I always loved going down to Wildwood. And one night, uh, Gorilla Monsoon, who was the agent there, uh, called me up and said, Hey, Ron, Bruno's flying in from Pittsburgh. Can you pick him up at the airport? And I said, Yeah, no question about it. I'll do it. And I picked up Bruno at the airport. And I'll tell you something. It was a great two-hour ride down to Wildwood, New Jersey, you know, talking to Bruno and uh, him encouraging me and telling me some fantastic stories. So, you know, Bruno will always be the greatest world heavyweight champion ever. And uh, the living legend, he will always be, and a friend to me also. So it's a, it's a great loss for the wrestling world. Let's go forget the official word. Ron Shaw.